Hey y'all, hope y'all are doing good today. Um, this is going to be the, uh, the the game preview and prediction for the Tennessee versus Iowa uh, cheese at Citrus Bowl. Uh, a week or so ago, I kind of gave a sneak preview on kind of how Iowa's defense looked and how strong they are defensively. But in this video, I'm going to break down in more detail how these two teams line up. Uh, this is a, a game uh, with Tennessee, who is eight and four on the season, versus a ten and three Iowa team. Uh, Tennessee is out of the SEC East. Iowa is out of the Big Ten West. So, um, two pretty good teams, not great teams, not bad teams. It should be a pretty good matchup. Um, strength of schedule so far this year, Tennessee's played the 17th hardest schedule. Iowa's played the 47th hardest schedule. Uh, Tennessee. Uh, uh, has had a really, really tough schedule this year. Every year, Tennessee has to play Georgia and Alabama, and it doesn't get any harder than that, uh, especially playing the rest of the SEC East teams. Um, and uh, on top of that, uh, you know, Iowa, that, you know, I'm not talking trash about Iowa. I respect Iowa, but I, I think anybody uh, that follows football will agree that playing out of the Big Ten West is a, is a huge uh uh, plus, uh, out of the Power Five conferences, I would say the Big Ten West is probably the easiest division in college football. That's just my opinion. Um, so that's why they have a uh, barely a top fifty strength of schedule uh, because you know they play Indiana, Purdue, Wisconsin, uh, Northwestern, that type of opponents. Now the Big Ten East is a whole other animal. Uh, that's a much much top, uh, tougher division, but the Big Ten West is a much easier one. Um, so, now, um, the last game for both these two teams, uh, Tennessee beat Vanderbilt 48-24, to uh, and uh, Michigan beat Iowa 26 to nothing. Uh, Iowa uh, got beat by Michigan in the Big Ten Championship game. Uh, so, uh, Iowa's offense just cannot generate any kind of offense, and that's kind of been their Achilles heel the last four or five years. Offense just just does not produce any points, and the, and the defense has had to keep them in every single game. Uh, just They get no help from the offense. Uh, it's, it's amazing to me that it took Iowa this long to fire uh, Kirk Ferentz's son, who is the offensive coordinator, uh, but they did finally get him fired. Uh, I really think that I could have went in there and done a better job as an offensive coordinator than Kirk Ferentz's son. But anyway, uh, they have replaced him, and they've not done much better. Uh, just really struggle uh, to score points. But uh, anyway, uh, as far as this game is concerned with Iowa, Tennessee and Iowa, uh, Tennessee is an eight-and-a-half point favorite right now with a couple weeks out before the game starts. Uh, so Vegas sees this as a pretty competitive game, at, as do I. Um, now, uh, the first thing that I'm going to uh, break down is going to be the Tennessee scoring offense versus the Iowa scoring defense. Um Tennessee scoring offense is 40th in the country, uh, averaging 31 and a half points a game. Iowa scoring defense is fourth. They are averaging, uh, they are giving up on average 13.2 points a game. Now, I just knocked Iowa for playing in the Big Ten West, but I don't care what division you play in. If you're only giving up 13 points a game, that's out of this world phenomenal. Um, Tennessee offensively, they have took a huge step back this year. Tennessee averaged 46 points a game last year offensively with Hendon Hooker, and we have took a, a huge step back with Joe Milton uh, uh, being the quarterback. It's not all, all it's not all on Joe Milton, but I think it's predominantly on Joe Milton. Uh, he just has not uh, read defenses the way that Hendon Hooker has. Uh, he's not been as accurate uh, and that kind of thing. Uh, so that's the reason that we have struggled so much this year, and it hasn't helped either that we lost Jalen Hyatt and uh, and uh, you know a plethora of other people offensively. But uh, anyway, uh, now I'm going to break down the uh, the Tennessee total offense versus the Iowa total defense. Um, Tennessee is 17th total offense wise, averaging 453.5 yards a game, uh, and uh, Iowa is uh, fifth. They are only giving up 274.8 yards a game. Uh, so that, that Iowa defense, as I'm going to go into more breaking this down, they are a top 10 in every single thing. If not top 10, they're right there next to it. So there's just no weakness, whether it's running, passing, whatever. Iowa is going to make you earn everything that you get. Uh, and uh, 
And that gets me into the next thing, the Tennessee rushing offense versus the Iowa rushing defense. Now, this will be the key uh, thing that I will be looking at in this game. That's, this is what's going to determine who wins this game, in my opinion. Uh, so, as I've said, Tennessee's offense has not been on par with what we did last year, but there's one thing that we have excelled in, and that is rushing the football. Uh, Tennessee right now, rushing offense-wise, is 11th in the country, averaging 202.6 yards a game. Uh, anything over 200 yards a game is is really, really good running the football, especially when you've, you've uh, faced the 17th hardest schedule in the country. Uh, Tennessee has done that with uh, the running backs of Jalen Wright, Jabari Small, uh, and Dylan Sampson. There's not a better trio of running backs uh, in the country, in my opinion. And as I stated earlier, Jalen Wright's not going to be in this bowl game, so you're going to see uh, at the, as the third running back, Cam Selden. So you'll see, uh, in my opinion, it'll be Dylan Sampson, Jabari Small, and Cam Selden as your three running backs that play in this game. So still three really good running backs. Um, and then uh, the Iowa rushing defense, uh, they're 13th in the country. Uh, they are only giving up 102.5 yards a game. So Tennessee is going to have to earn every yard they get rushing. And, and so we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully Tennessee uh, can uh, you know, still rush for close to 200 yards. And if Tennessee rushes for anywhere close to 200 yards, it's game over, in my opinion, for Iowa. There's no way Iowa can, Iowa can win. But if Iowa keeps Tennessee south of 125 yards rushing, then in my opinion, Iowa can definitely win this game. So, now let's get to the Tennessee passing offense versus the Iowa passing defense. Uh, and Tennessee has took a huge step back uh, in this regard this year. Uh, they were 46th in the country, uh, only averaging 250.9 yards a game. This is an offense last year that, that threw the ball for well over 300 yards a game last year. So, they are not near as good as they were last year. Uh, Iowa's passing defense is 8th, so they're even better than their rushing defense. Uh, and they are only uh, giving up 172.2 yards a game through the air. Now, here's my – this is a, something I fear. If Tennessee cannot run the ball effectively against that Iowa defense and they have to throw the ball, ugh, I'm really worried because I don't trust uh, Joe Milton to get it done against the eighth, uh, you know, eighth best passing defense of the country. That does not look good for Tennessee. So we better be able to run the ball effectively in this game. Okay, now uh, I'm going to break down the Tennessee scoring defense versus the Iowa scoring offense. Uh, Tennessee scoring defense is 37th. Uh, they're giving up 22 points a game. Tennessee's defense has been pretty good this year, especially the front seven. Uh, very good at uh, attacking the run uh, and very good rush defense, which I'll get more into. But, you know, passing defense, eh, it's not as good. Um, so still a pretty good defense Tennessee's had this year, but uh, definitely could be better. Uh, now, Iowa scoring offense. It is 127th in the country. Uh, averaging 16.6 points a game. So I was averaging 16.6 points a game, and their defense gave up 13 points a game. That's how good Iowa's defense has been this year. They've had to, they've literally only given, had 16 points to work with, and they've done it this year to win football games. And, and you know, as, as I praised Iowa's, uh, as, I, as I praised Iowa's defense, now I'm going to really hammer Iowa's offense, and it is as bad in the country as you can get. It, there, I've never broke down a team that's so polar opposites on one uh, on one side of the ball and then on the other, because as good as Iowa's defense is, their offense is just as bad, um, and they are at, at the bottom of every category offensively in the country. As I'll uh, as I'll break down further, um, and so uh, like I said, they're 127th in scoring uh, offense. Uh, now let's go to total D, Tennessee's total defense versus Iowa total offense. Tennessee's total defense is 39th in the country. Uh, they are uh, giving up 348.7 yards a game. Uh, Iowa's total offense is, 130, is 130th in the country. They are only uh, averaging 238.8 yards a game. So, folks, there's 130 teams in Division I football. And I was last in total offense. That's how bad the offense is. So, uh, 
Now, I, I said before that Tennessee has a lot of opt-outs this game. Uh, Tyler Barron, uh, our defensive end, is gone. Weak side defensive end is gone. All six of our DBs are gone. So, um, I mean, if we had everybody at full strength, I would feel really, really good about shutting them down. I wouldn't. I honestly don't think Iowa would score on us. But with all these opt-outs, you know, Iowa might be able to generate enough offense to beat us. But we'll see. Um the Tennessee rush defense versus the Iowa rush offense. Uh, Tennessee's rush defense uh, this year is 23rd, only giving up 113.8 yards a game. Uh, and Iowa's rush offense is 107th, uh, averaging 115.7 yards a game. Uh, Tennessee definitely has the advantage in this game. And for the most part, Tennessee's front seven will be playing in this game. Um, uh, Tyler Barron's out, but other than that, everybody will be playing. I look us to sh I look for us to shut down Iowa's rushing uh, offense. I don't see them rushing for many yards at all on us, uh, at all. So we'll see what happens. But I feel like we have the uh, clear advantage in that stat. Um, now the passing, the Tennessee passing defense versus the Iowa passing offense. Uh, this is where Tennessee struggled and had gotten worse as the years went on. After Kamal Haddon got injured in the Alabama game, who was our shutdown uh, cornerback, we've gotten we've we've done worse. Uh, they're 80th in the country, uh, averaging uh, or giving up on average 234.9 yards a game. Uh, Iowa's pass offense. Um, uh, they're worse. They're a hundred and twenty seventh in the country, only averaging a hundred and twenty three point two yards a game through there. So, I mean, I, you know, can Iowa make us pay for having all these DBs not being in the game and having to play backups? I don't know. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if Iowa can do anything as far as passing the football against the secondary uh, this week. Uh, I think a key thing will be to see if James Pierce and our ends. Uh, can get to the Iowa quarterback and not even give him time to see if he can maybe generate uh, a matchup on our cornerbacks where they can maybe get some yards down the field. So that'll be something to look out for. Um, so now what I want to do is I want to get to the turnover margin uh, for both these teams. Uh, Tennessee is 36, did a pretty good job as far as turnover margin, 36 in the country. They are plus three on the year as far as turnover margin is concerned. Uh, I was not been very good, and that kind of surprised me. I thought I would would uh, protect the football, uh, and I uh, but uh, they have not. They are minus four this year in turnover uh, margin. Now uh, the next thing I'm going to get to is penalties. Um, this has been Tennessee's real Achilles heel this year, and it's come back to bite us in some really big games, uh, particularly the Alabama game. Uh, but uh, we're 125th in the country in penalties. Uh, uh, averaging 71.1 yards a game in penalties. You just can't have that. That's really hurt us this year. We've been, uh, we've just not been very uh, disciplined in a lot of situations this year. Um, Iowa, on the other hand, is phenomenal. They're fifth. They're only averaging 30.2 yards a game in penalties. So, uh, but anyway, so I kind of broke down all the stats here, how these teams line up. It's, it's not going to be a track meet. It's not going to be a, a really entertaining game, in my opinion. So if you're tuning into this game to see a 45-50 a, a to 50 game, you just need to, to uh, need to turn the channel because this is not going to be the game. Um, and I think the over-under on this game is like 35, 34, something like that. Uh, and about every game that Iowa has played, the under has hit. And I don't see that changing this year either. Um, Tennessee... Um, will struggle to score points on that Iowa defense. I think Iowa defensively is uh, is going to be a matchup problem in a lot of in a lot of time. I mean, and especially when we get in the red zone, we have struggled to score in the red zone. Whereas last year we were amazing in the red zone. I think Iowa will uh, will limit us to some field goals in some situations when we get in the uh, the red zone. And I think this is going to be a low scoring affair. I think the difference in this game is the fact that just Iowa just cannot score enough points to win the game. I just don't see where Iowa – the way Iowa wins this game is that they get a pick six. And we have a lot of fumbles, uh, you know, just something where a punt return, something like that uh, is the only way I think Iowa can beat us. Now, they can. I just don't see that happening. So, uh, saying all that – uh, the prediction for this game is I have Tennessee beating Iowa uh, 
20 to 10. And I think the under hits again in this Iowa game. Uh, I think Tennessee scores just enough offense. I think we're able to run the ball effective enough. I think Tennessee will run the ball for close to 200 yards against Iowa, and that'll be just good enough to uh, get some points on the board and uh, and and beat Iowa. So uh, anyway, that's how I see uh, the uh, the cheese at Citrus Bowl going. Uh, Tennessee beating Iowa 20 to 10. And I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. If you're not subscribed, I would greatly appreciate it if you do. But uh, anyway, that's my prediction. Tennessee winning 20-10. to 10. Go balls.